Hello, this is Jared from LearnToDroid.com. Uh, in today's YouTube video, we'll be going through how to embed a YouTube video inside your Android app uh, to allow you to play uh, YouTube videos. Uh, before we get started, uh, please uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel. It helps me grow the channel and will allow me to create uh, more videos in the future around Android app development. I'm currently showing the blog post on LearnToDroid.com for embedding YouTube videos in an Android app using the Android YouTube player. If you check out the post, it references two APIs for embedding YouTube videos in your Android app. The first is an official API, which YouTube provides. Uh, one of the challenges with using this API is it's quite out of date, it's an old API. It also requires the device that the user is running the app on to have the YouTube app installed as well. So that is a bit of a limiting feature. So instead of using that official API, we'll be using the Android YouTube Player API, which is the unofficial library. So this library is available on GitHub. It's an open source free to use library. It will play YouTube videos inside a web view uh, in your Android app, and it relies on an iframe uh, within the web view for it to function. Um, it has, it allows you to customize the player, the, the UI of the player. It also supports Chromecast features, which will allow you to cast your YouTube videos to a Chromecast device. So let's get started on the tutorial. What we'll do is we'll create a new project in Android Studio. I'll call the project Android Embed YouTube. So what we need to do first is import the library using Gradle. So have a look on the GitHub page for the Android YouTube Player library. Scroll down to the download section and grab the implementation dependency. Open up your Android project, go into the uh, app level build.gradle file and add that dependency. Also, according to the documentation, you need to have at least version 17 of the SDK. So then you can do a sync. Okay, so next what you'll need to do is update your manifest file to use the internet permission because we'll be loading the videos from the internet, obviously. Okay, uh, next what we'll do is we'll update the activity main layout resource file. In this file, we'll be adding a YouTube player view widget, which we'll use for playing the YouTube videos. And uh, we'll put some XML attributes on that widget to allow us to select a YouTube video and auto play it and show a full screen button on there so you can navigate to the full screen view of that view. So we'll update this text view to use a YouTube player view. We'll change the layout width to match parent. Uh, we'll remove this text, it's not required. We'll move this to the top of the view. Okay, so now we can populate some uh, attributes on this uh, YouTube player view. So what we'll need to do is include a YouTube video ID. So this is the video we'll be using for the Android app. It's a demo of the initial Android. Hi, operation. welcome to Mountain View, California. So we'll copy the ID here and include that in our activity layout resource file in the video ID attribute. Okay, we'll also add an attribute for autoplay. Set that to true. And we'll also add an attribute for allowing the full screen button to be shown. Okay, we'll also need to add an ID to this YouTube player view widget. Next, we'll set up the main activity class and add a lifecycle observer to the YouTube player view widget. This will allow us to automatically pause the video if the activity is closed. So let's jump into the main activity class. We'll set up a variable for the YouTube player view widget.
Next, we'll add a lifecycle observer to this widget. Go get lifecycle, add observer, and then we'll add the YouTube layer view. Okay, so now let's test this out. We'll run it in the emulator. Okay, and the video should automatically play when the activity is loaded. Hi. Welcome to Mountain View, California. I'm speaking here at we'll Google's also see headquarters. A and I'd like to tell you about something I'm really excited about. We click that. It's called Android. We'll and it's a new screen. open source operating system and software platform. Okay, so that was uh, auto playing the video using the activity layout resource file. What we'll do next is we'll programmatically start the YouTube video uh, within the activity class. So let's go back into the activity main resource file. We'll remove uh, these attributes here, the video ID, the autoplay, and the show full screen button. Okay. Now we'll jump back into the main activity class and we'll want to play the video um, after we add the lifecycle observer to the YouTube player view. For this, what we'll need to do is add an abstract YouTube player listener to the YouTube player view widget. Then we'll create a new uh, abstract YouTube player listener and we'll want to implement the onready method. So what we'll do in the onready method is get a reference to the video ID Next we'll use the YouTube player parameter in the onready method to load the YouTube video Call the load video method pass the video ID and pass a starting point, which we'll just say at the start, which is zero. Okay, so now we'll run this. This should auto play the video when the activity is loaded. Hi, welcome to Mountain. Okay, uh, instead of load video, you can also call the queue video method. The difference with the queue video method is that it won't automatically play the video. It will just show the thumbnail of the video and you can select the play button if you want to play the video. Let's see that in the emulator. Okay, if you select the play button, it will start the video. Hi, welcome to Mountain okay, So that's a very basic tutorial on embedding YouTube videos in your Android app. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.